So Luke, have you ever seen a game in like that? No, that was uh, pretty crazy, but, uh, you know, a win to win, and uh, it ended in our favor, so I'm um, happy about that. You know, the end there kind of played out a little bit like the LSU game on Saturday last week. I wonder how much being involved in a game like that helped you all in this situation. Yeah, I think it helps. I mean, the more you get experience in anything, uh, the better you become at it. So I think, uh, you know, everyone, after they retook uh, or they tied it up in the uh, top of the ninth, I think we all understood that, you know what, the game's not over. We still got a lot of game left, and, uh, you know, it's a 0-0 game essentially. How big was that at bat for Evan going 0-2 and then, and then drawing the walk there? Oh, I mean, that was incredible. I mean, as a freshman too, he's, uh, he's beyond his years. The composure that took was big time. It was big for the team, um, you know, and it shows how well prepared he is. Dave said that he really liked his instincts as a base runner. I'm, I wonder if you've seen that in practice and – what you thought about what he was able to do there at the end. Yeah, Evan, um, you know, he's kind of, he's the type of guy that's quiet, but he's always ready to go, you know. And uh, I've kind of noticed as uh, the season's progressed that even when he's not in the game, he's really into the game, meaning he's, I feel like he's always ready to go if his name's called. And, you know, his name was called there. And I've done that a lot as a, you know, not in that situation, but as a pinch hitter, as a freshman, and I can tell you that it did not end like that. I usually struck out on three pitches or something like that. It is incredibly tough, and that guy he faced is a stuff guy. So that's really good job by him. Your home run, you think about your home run that put Arkansas ahead. Uh, what were you looking for there? What pitch did you get? Do you remember? Well, you know, to be honest, it was big time by uh, Chad. Uh, he worked a really, really good at bat. The previous at bat, he saw a lot of pitches, which was able for me to kind of time him up and see a lot of pitches. And the first pitch he threw me was a fastball up and away. And I kind of realized that against righties, he was going fastball away. So kind of got on the plate a little bit and looked for a fastball away and got it. And since I was on the plate, it really turned into a middle pitch that I could pull. Jake, the, the play by Spanberger, that got them out the plate. What were your thoughts there? And what you think the <laughs> well, I just saw the throw, and then I saw him turn, and I looked around and saw Grant throw the tag down, and I was like, sweet, you know. And then we had to run back out there, and I was just like, I asked the guys if we could play flips, and they were like, no, nah, man, you can't do that. So. Hey, Evan, on the, uh, the that last play, the scoring play, did Tony tell you to go, or was that just your instincts? You know, it was it was crazy. He, We were kind of looking at each other like, like his eyes were wide open, my eyes were wide open. We were kind of like deer in the headlights, and uh, the, all the situations went through my head. If I get thrown out the plate, there's one out and runner on third. If I if I score, all these situations in a matter of like five seconds. And then finally, I was like, go. It wasn't the prettiest thing, but hey, it happened and we we won. What was it like being on the bottom of that dog pile? Oh, it was <laughs> it was a little rough at first, but I mean, then they took care of me at the end. So it was. That's all that matters was a W, and the fun after that was just icing on the cake. You, you all were in kind of a similar position last week against LSU. Uh, I think you may have even been on base at the end. Uh, couldn't pull it out on, on Saturday. To, I wonder how much did that contribute to being able, do you think, to pulling it out tonight? You know, um, baseball, there's a bunch of things that can happen in the game of baseball, and in, in that instance, we didn't come through. So sometimes you lose those games, but then again, we had the same situation, and sometimes you win them. I mean, baseball's day to day, and I'm just glad we won today. Jake, just what was it like coming out there and, and trying to shut the door, and you know, just working through all those situations you had to? I mean, honestly, I'm probably more nervous for the press conference. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Under. <laughs> Seriously, um, I don't know. I just try to be super calm and just. You know, trust my stuff, and then uh, let it work, and it, and it worked out pretty good today. So. Luke, there was a play where there was a ball hit down the left field line, went in the stands by one row. Were you thinking maybe I don't catch this because of the situation, or could you just not get to it? No, yeah, honestly, um, I was thinking that exact thing. It was bases loaded, um, guy fouls it off, big lefty hitter, and um, you know we're kind of taught that if I catch that ball, then. Uh, then the guy probably scores from third's tie game, and the next uh, next pitch I think he grounds into a double play. So uh, you know that's something that uh, actually Coach Vitello has us work on that situation a ton as our outfield coach, and uh, you know just prepares for those situations. You kind of think about those situations in your head 
before it actually happens. What's the distance that you would catch the ball compared to where you would when, you, when you're coming in to try to get that throw home? Yeah, um, it would depend on how far away I was from home plate. If I felt like I could throw the runner out, but that ball was pretty deep. The guy uh, hit it pretty well, and um, you know it would be it would be tough to reach in there backhand and then throw. It. So it would be, have to be a pretty shallow play. For whoever wants to take this, I know you've only had a few minutes to digest this one, but, but how how big do you think this is for you all to get a win like this when when it nearly got a win? All right, for it. You know, a lot of people would say that that loss against. LSU last last weekend would like change or like be a catalyst in our season as to whether it be recovery or just fall from there and I think that this win just kickstarts us back on the right direction towards uh, SEC championship road to Omaha and all those accolades and I think that if we just keep doing what we're doing and grinding out these games that we'll be successful. What was it like, Jake, just getting a chance to, to close out a game and, and getting your name called there? Uh, yeah, I mean, that was fun. I mean, I, was, I wasn't expecting it. I was thinking I'd probably throw tomorrow just at some point. And uh, so just being able to come in, close a game, you know, it was uh, it was a really great experience. And then being able to pick up the win was uh, just icing on the cake. Anybody else? All right. Thanks, guys.